And uh, then uh, we'll do the baptism, and he'll close the service with the final verse of the hymn. Before we get to that, let's just ask God's blessing on this time. Well, Heavenly Father, we recognize your work. We, we see it demonstrated in this act of baptism that you sent your son to die on the cross for us. You raised him from the dead in an incredible act of power and victory. And today we believe that he's alive. We trust your promise of your continued work from this day until you send him back again. This morning we embrace your life and we acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord of heaven and earth. And we bow before him. And Lord, we thank you for this time and ask your blessing on Sandy and Gino as they come. As they follow you in this step of baptism. Lord, I would pray your anointing on each of them as they take this step. And may it bring honor and glory to your name and further your work in their hearts and lives. In your name I pray. Amen. Okay, Gino, Sandy. What a special time, of, uh, special time for our church. Um, you know, it kind of brings tears to my eyes because God laid that upon my heart many years ago. And if you did not know, Pastor started the baptisms here at our church Easter Sunday of the year 2000. And you know, that was my call right there. And so I was the first to sign up. And believe it or not, not pushing my wife and kids, they all followed me. So all six of the Whitstrucks got baptized on Easter Sunday 16 years ago. I, I encourage you, if you've not been baptized, um, you know, publicly and profess your faith like these two are going to do today, you know, I'd be praying about that and be thinking about that. It's, it's, it's awesome. Um, we're going to go ahead and sing our uh, song, and it's going to be on page 496. You need to stand up, and we're going to sing the first two verses. We're going to sing the two, uh, first two verses of Victory in Jesus. Then we will have the baptismal, and then we will finish with the last verse, okay? Verses one and two only, Victory in Jesus. <clears throat> I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How he gave his life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about his groaning Of his precious blood Toning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming. Come and heal my broken spirit And somehow Jesus came and brought to me the victory Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever He sought me and bought me with his redeeming 
Thank you for your singing, and you may be seated. Oh, hey Sandy, I, I know I promised to put the heater in, and I did, but <laughs> it could be a little chilly. I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I said it makes a better memory if it's really cold, because you know you like the shock of it all. Got one more step. <laughs> Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, Sandy, thank you for coming, for your willingness to follow the Lord in this step of baptism. And I'd love for you to share with the church family a little bit of your story, a little bit of your testimony about uh, the Lord's work in your life and your heart. I have to talk in there. Yeah, you have to talk in there. <clears throat> wow. It's cold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're getting on uh, in a few minutes. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess I didn't grow up in a, any type of religious faith. The only thing I had was a couple of times I went to church with friends and go to Sunday school. But I was always a believer. Um, I'm not sure why, but I, I just always believed. But um, as I grew into adulthood, I didn't necessarily live a Christian life. I, had, I went through a lot of bad times in my life, um, quite a bit of chaos. And I was probably one of those people that I only prayed when my life was so in chaos that I didn't know where else to go. But then after I would pray, I would forget about it. So, um, you know, as I progressed into adulthood and stuff, and then all of a sudden, I met Eldon a few years ago and realized how strong his faith was. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that we got together because his faith is so strong, and I had really no faith at all. But after being with him for so long, um, I started to realize what it meant to believe. And I started coming here, and more and more I started realizing that even though I prayed and then I just sort of forgot about it, I realized that Christ was answering my prayers anyway. But I thought it was just all me kind of getting through it on my own. And so I, I realized that no matter where I was in my life and what I was doing, Christ was still with me. Um, we were at a service probably a year ago here, and I just had such an overwhelming feeling of, oh, this is it. This is, um, I even talked to Eldon on the way home. I says, I don't know what happened. I was, I was ready to cry and I was shaking and everything. And he says, that makes me so happy that you're feeling that now. And so I've, uh, wow, I'm going to cry now. Uh, <laughs> So that because I've come to this realization that Christ has always been with me, I, I want to be baptized to identify and trust my life in Christ. So Sandy, today do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior and your Lord? I do. I do. Amen. Well, because of your confession of faith and your testimony of God's continued work, because of the evidence that his voice and his presence is with you today, my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Hey, Gino. It's cold. <laughs> it's not so cold. You, can, you know, it's not so bad. It's cold. No, you'll get used to it. 
All right, let me get on this side of you, Gino. All right. Gino, I'd love for you to share kind of your testimony of how you came to faith in Christ and what brought you to this moment. Well, I grew up in a family that was loving, but we, uh, we were somewhat uh, thrill-seeking and, and kind of a reckless um, somewhat. <laughs> and anyway, um, and my mother then kind of, I thought at the time, went off the deep end and got saved and and uh, <laughs> so anyway she started to talk to me and we got uh, I, had, I accepted the Lord and, and uh, now today uh, all these years have gone by I've always thought I would like to get baptized but never I don't know so anyway I'm grateful for the opportunity today so, so do you know today do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior and your Lord I do well, on that basis of your confession and your testimony of God's work and the way he's brought you through to this moment because of your desire to be baptized, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So it is buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection. All right, Mark. Have to stand up again. We'll sing the final verse of Hey, how about this? Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.